It was the gift of a Jedi. It can block a lightsaber. I used it to defeat Moff Gideon. It can also pierce Beskar armor. Its mere existence puts Mandalorians at risk. Mandalorian steel is meant for armor, not weapons. Then forge it into armor. The Dark Saber is a more noble weapon for you to wield. Have you ever heard of Bo-Katan Kreese? Bo-Katan is a cautionary tale. She once laid claim to rule Mandalore based purely on blood and the sword you now possess. But it was gifted to her and not won by creed. Bo-Katan Kreese was born of a mighty house, but they lost sight of the way. Her rule ended in tragedy. They lost their way, and we lost our world. Had our sect not been cloistered on the moon of Concordia, we would have not survived the Great Purge. Those born of Mandalore strayed away from the path. Eventually, the Imperial interlopers destroyed all that we knew and loved in the Night of a Thousand Tears. Those that walked the way escaped the curse prophesized in the creed. Though our numbers were scattered to the winds, our adherence to the way has preserved our legacy for the generations until we may someday return to our homeworld. What shall I forge? Something for a foundling. This is the way. For a specific foundling. Grogu. He's no longer in your care. He is with his own kind now. I want to see him. Make sure he's safe. In order to master the ways of the Force, Jedi must forego all attachment. That is the opposite of our creed. Loyalty and solidarity are the way. What shall I forge for the foundling Grogu?